All right, let's go ahead and set up our plugins folder. We're going to download a plugin called LeanTween. It's a free one. I'm going to show you three different ways you can access it. That way you can know uh, if you can get to it one way or another way. First way you can get to it is if you go to Windows. And inside of Windows, you can go down to the one that says Asset Store. Now, if you've logged in through Unity, then you're going to have the ability to go ahead and go to an account where you can actually go to here and download elements. What we can do is in the search right here, you can just type in Lean Tween. And what it's going to do is find Lean Tween. You'll see that Lean Tween right here is free. So you can actually go and click on Lean Tween. So what is this? This is a, a tweening system, meaning that it allows for animation movement of an object to move really easy. Uh, this is something that's great for a designer, for an artist, somebody who's kind of getting started, but also uh, for full projects if you're wanting to develop with a, a, a same system for movement. Um, this one though, you can go in here and you can click on import. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded it, you can click on the, it'll be a download button and you can click on download and then you'll be able to import it in. Um, this is one option. A, another option that you can choose is actually to go to the uh, GitHub. If you haven't been to GitHub before, it's a great spot to go for Unity projects. Uh, for Unity developers who are putting things up just to help people out. Uh, so GitHub, and if you notice up at the top, it's going to be forward slash dented pixel forward slash lean tween. You can also just do a search on the repository and find it from there. Um, when you get to here, you'll be able to find and actually get the latest pulls. These are usually going to be um, things that are updated before the store is even updated on it. For instance, this was three days ago. They've already updated elements to it. What we're looking for as a whole, the project has a lot of files to it, but what we actually want to just get is the one that says plugins. And inside the plugins, there's one file called LeanTween, and that's really this one right here. This, this is really what we're looking for, is the uh, LeanTween file. And if you want to grab it from there, you can actually just download it right here. And then you can also go to his website. You can go to dentedpixel.com. And inside of here, this is also going to be, uh, when you go to the documentation for Lean Tween, uh, you'll have the latest version for it right there as well. All right. So once you've downloaded it, we'll go ahead and lower this. So once you have downloaded it and you've grabbed the piece that you want from it, what we actually just want to do is go to our downloads and I'm going to have that package and it's going to be the lean tween file. Now again, you'll have a lot of files with it, but what you want to do is just choose the lean tween one right here. So I'm just going to drag this one into my plugins. All right. So once it's in there, it'll um, do a little compiling. You shouldn't have any errors or anything. So uh, if something does pop up, then uh, be sure to double check what you are placing into the plugins folder. So now we have plugins, lean tween. All right. Now, for those who went the asset store route, let me just make sure I show you, just to be sure everybody's able to follow along smoothly here. If you did happen to go this route, I'll walk you through the steps real fast. All right. So if you clicked on the import button, it's going to open up the package right here. And what we don't want is all of this. So what I'm going to do is actually uncheck the first box right here. So it's going to uncheck all the elements through here. And when you get down to the very bottom right here, there'll be a check for plugins. And you can actually uncheck this one, this one, and that one. So then you, the only thing you're actually importing is the folder name and lean tween right there. So if you're going this direction, just simply import this one, at least for this project. Um, if, you're get, if you get in, interested in Lean Tween, then you may find that you want to import the whole uh, project and go through all the project examples, learn it, understand it, and all that good stuff. All right. So at that point, we should be set up with Lean Tween, and we should have our plugin piece all set up for it right there.